If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O God of Israel. Please keep in your prayers at this Mass a special intention. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your grace, O oh Lord, we pray. At all times, go before us and follow after. Make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious. Immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warned you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. 
I know them and they follow me. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you, Pharisees! You pay tithes of mint and of rue and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have done without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees! You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you! You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. Then one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Jesus' big critique or denunciation of the Pharisees and the scribes is that they are fixated on the law. They do a good job of fulfilling it, but they pay no attention to love for God. One can fulfill the law without loving God. We can follow the law by force or by fear. Love for God is what matters. We're judged not on how well we fulfill the law, but on how much we love God. We should keep the law, but as Jesus says, without overlooking the the others. This is why St. Paul emphasizes the Holy Spirit, which is the love of God. If you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you are not under the law. It doesn't mean the law is irrelevant, but but that it is love that enables one to keep the law, not by fear of breaking the law. We can't forget this. We look at our own lives, our own uh, times of conversion in our lives, it was not because of a law that we were converted. Converted from these works of the flesh that Paul lays out. But we were converted by the Holy Spirit, an encounter with love, the grace of the Holy Spirit. So when we call others to conversion, it is not enough to tell them the law. You should do this, stay away from this. If you, do, if you do this, you're going to hell. Not enough. They need the witness of someone who lives by the Holy Spirit and fulfills that law by love. That is doing it with, as Paul lists, those fruits of the Holy Spirit with love, joy, peace, patience, etc. Through love and mercy, we lift the burden that is on the other. One of the names of the Holy Spirit is the finger of God. And he, one of the, Jesus is critiquing the, the Pharisees. You, you don't even give a, a, have a finger to lift a finger to help them. So when we struggle with those works of the flesh and when we are calling the other to conversion, let's not forget to call on the Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit and follow the Spirit.
Together with one voice, let us offer God our prayers and petitions. For the church, may the Holy Spirit animate each of her members with new joy and zeal for Christ's mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in authority, may God give them the grace of humility. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened by poverty, hopelessness, or sickness, may God give them peace and provide relief for their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the community gathered here, may God preserve us in harmony and humility through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Kenneth Horan, Eva Herena Alvarado, Orlando Sereno, and Sister Maria McGuire. May they find endless joy, love, and peace in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for the recovery of those who have been sickened, for the protection of the doctors, nurses, first responders, and all doing life-sustaining work who put themselves in harm's way to serve others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayers, and in your grace, answer them according to your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. For you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. Their voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no blessing.
spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We'll have adoration of the Blessed Sacrament right after Mass today. Please, if you have uh, uh, parked uh, out, out there, please move your car so that you're not blocking the bus lane uh, for the students coming in to Mass today. And I hope you can stay and, and pray some time today before the Blessed Sacrament. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. 